let's consider this question. To solve this problem, the first step here is to make y the subject. That is, this minus y will move over to the other side and become plus y. While minus 3x squared will move over to the other side and become plus 3x squared. Next, we can rearrange this. Next, let's differentiate. Differentiate 2x. I are going to get 2. Next, differentiate 3x squared. And you're going to get 6x. And this becomes our answer. Alternatively, we can apply implicit differentiation. Differentiate 2x. And you're going to get 2. Next, differentiate y. And you're going to get 1. However, whenever you differentiate y, you're going to multiply it with dy dx according to the rule of implicit differentiation. Next, differentiate minus 3x squared and you're going to get minus 6x. Next, make dy dx the subject. I'm going to leave the 2 here. Next, I will now move minus 6x across to the other side. And it's going to be plus 6x. Next, I will take 1 dy dx across to the other side. And I'm going to have dy over dx. And you can see we got back to plus 6x. The third method is using the shortcut method. We're going to use this formula that dy dx is equal to minus there must be a minus with respect to x divide by with respect to y to apply the shortcut method the first thing is to rearrange the given question it must be equal to zero next apply the shortcut method at the numerator we are going to respect only x. Let's differentiate 2x and our answer is 2. Next, minus y got no x. Hence, I'm going to ignore it this time around for the numerator. Next, differentiate 3x squared and our answer is 6x. Next, at the denominator, we we'll respect y only. That is, we're going to ignore 2x this time around and differentiate minus y. And our answer is minus 1. Likewise, 3x squared got no y. Hence, I'm going to ignore it. Next, this minus, we take away this minus. And here, we got back our dy dx. You can see the three methods give us D. This is Calculus. I will see you in the next video.